Hey guys, and welcome back to Toy Commander. This is going to be the final episode because we have to defeat the Toy Commander himself in the cellar. Now, we also have the hidden area. Now, the hidden area is a bit of a pain in the ass, so we're going to leave that till last. And there's a reason we're going to leave it till last as well because what you get from completing it, um, which. <sighs> I mean, it's it's cool. I wish there was a little bit more <laughs> with it, but I can't really go too far into that without actually, you know, completing the boss and showing you. So, let's go to the cellar. Huggy Bear. So, here we are, Andrew. Face to face at last. It was inevitable. The title of Toy Commander is at stake. You may have proved yourself courageous throughout these challenges, but this time you're up against me. Yeah, he's not really that difficult. And we actually have all of the toys, all of the bosses that we have, uh, you know, beaten previously. Now we have 99 standard level 1 pencils with every uh, character. And we also have uh, 10 of each uh, other uh, secondary weapons, I suppose. But we're not going to use them. Now, what's kind of cool, I think, is that uh, you actually use the same weapons, or at least the effect of the weapon is exactly the same uh, as it would have been uh, when we were fighting uh, the boss originally, which is quite cool. I'm quite the fan of that. Now, unfortunately, it's kind of difficult to aim up. So... We've destroyed his little walker buggy thing, which I always thought was really cool. He's got his own mech suit. Now we have to take out his main dartboard chest armor piece. Unfortunately, we've run out of missiles, which is a problem. No matter, we'll just use someone else. Ringo steps up to the plate. You ready, Ringo? Oh, God. We just got a hell of an opening barrage there. <laughs> Went round the corner and Toy Commander was waiting for us. Okay, let's go. And again, yeah, literally walk straight into that. want to try and stay behind this guy if we can. Because that's where we're going to do most of the damage. We've got to destroy his mutant arm and his gun arm. Which actually isn't too bad. We're actually dropping toys like flies is actually going fairly badly but that's okay we have plenty to spare we can use our pirate ship there goes one of his arms let's try and get the other one off you've got to be careful because ammo is limited here now what is a kind of unfair uh, with this boss not that this boss is easy uh, hard by any stretch of the imagination he really isn't um, but what kind of sucks a little bit about it is he can actually get to your toys uh, he doesn't actually come around this corner but he can attack him as soon as they leave the little landing bay here or the little docking station I guess Alright, let's see if Pegasus is the one. Is Pegasus the one? Nope, she's too tall. <laughs> she's way too tall. Alright, this is really bad. I can usually destroy him in about three or four toys. But, you know, we should be able to should be able to take him out. I say. Not exactly super confident now. It all depends how it goes. Yeah, he's shooting us in the arse. Unfortunately, his weapon does track us pretty well. And we actually lost the first round. Oof. So there you have it. I should have guessed. You weren't so tough after all. I'm still the toy commander. And I still rule. Yeah. You win the first round, Sonny Jim. Let's try that again. Let's try that again with a little bit less fail. Like I say, he, he really isn't hard at all. I kind of sucked pretty badly there. Now, one thing, as I said, that's really annoying about this particular fight is the camera angles. 
They really don't do you many favors at all. But it's, you know, it's nowhere near like game breaking. It isn't an actual problem or anything like that. All right. Now he takes flight in his super jetpack. As you can see, we can't quite aim up high enough. Just try and keep behind him. Although, he's now turned around, which is not great. But that's okay. Now we've removed his jetpack. Fingers crossed. We can just stay behind him and unload into his arms. There we go. One gone. Uh, we're kind of stuck on his arm, which is less than fantastic. Oh god, he kind of did a weird janky 180 degrees turn there. Which didn't really do us too many favours, to be honest. That's okay, we're down to just our machine gun. We can go and get more ammo, but eh, there's no point, to be honest. Might as well just wait for the next toy. Alright, let's go take his other arm out. A little bit like that. Now, the fuck factor with this is you have to hit him in the face. You can't uh, hit him in the back of the head or anything like that. So that's where a little bit of the difficulty comes from here. But of course, he can hit us through 360 degrees. But, you know, it's the final boss. You expect it to be somewhat challenging. Even if the odds are heavily stacked in his... Well, I wouldn't say they're heavily stacked in his favor, actually. They're kind of definitely stacked in your favor. Off he goes. It's a very underwhelming final boss, but it's certainly in theme of the rest of the game. Huggy Bear is no more. Congratulations, Andy. You've managed to beat me at my own game. The title of Toy Commander is yours once more. I must say, you've put up a wicked fight. You'll have to excuse us for that little mutiny mishap. Uh, I assure you it won't be happening again anytime soon. We were just feeling ignored. You've managed to make us feel wanted again. And now, all of your toys are happy. We worry though, Andy. We can see you're growing up. And it's important to us that you keep hold of your dreams, regardless of what you do, uh, what you go through. Never forget us, Andy, and never stop dreaming. Yeah, uh, stop dreaming. 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 Yes, yes, yes. I wonder why he keeps saying that. Anyway, uh, yeah, that, that was quite uh, interesting. God, it's so weird playing this again. The aircraft has finally found... It's passengers. They're all in the games room. You must go and get them. You're the toy commander now. This is a very weird... You can actually control this plane here as well. This is a very weird kind of final mission? Question mark? I, I remember when I got to this bit, I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. Is this like a free roam mode or something? Um, we get to fly around the basement and have a little bit of a look around. But no, there is actually a deeper meaning to this bit here, which is really cool. It ties the game together, uh, I think, really nicely. And there's uh, a few different little ways we can go through, you know. It's really cool. We've got the drum set and everything. You can explore a little bit, but there isn't really anything to find, sadly. Anyway... Here is our 51 hangar. Let's go pick up our passengers and get out of here. So where are we taking them? I love this. What the fuck? Yep, off into the sunset. So I guess uh, Andy did grow up to be a pilot after all. A somewhat incompetent pilot that uh, nearly fell, well, did fall asleep at the wheel 
and uh, <laughs> nearly killed everybody. Uh, yeah, so that whole game was a dream. And I actually really liked that. I thought that was wicked. I like that whole spiel about the toy commander, you know, getting a little bit almost emotional, almost, about Andy growing up. It's a very Toy Story kind of feeling, I think. Um, but it's interesting playing this again. You know, I played this game when I was a kid, when I just, uh, well, no, I was in school. Yeah, I was um, 1999. Or oh, 2000, I think we got it. The Japanese uh, market got it in 1999. We got it in the year 2000. And uh, so I would have been, oh, Jesus Christ. Ooh, 13-ish, 12, 13, something like that when I got this. So it's kind of interesting remembering those memories of uh, getting it as a kid. And then we played it again when I was in my early 20s. Oh, Jesus. And now, finishing it, I'm 35 years old. I feel like every part of my life I'm going to be playing this and looking back. Crazy. Now, I always find it quite interesting. I always wondered when I'm growing up what I was going to end up being. And, well, not quite as glamorous as a pilot, unfortunately. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bin Man doesn't really have the same ring to it, but yeah, I kind of enjoyed that. It's a shame that we never got a sequel, you know. I would have loved to have seen a Toy Commander 2 or a remake, but of course the company that made this game is no more. Uh, French developer, no cliche or no clicky or no click, whatever, however you say it. Uh, sadly... Uh, the only other thing they did was they released a, uh, a toy racer game. There was also a few extra levels that they created uh, as, I guess you could call it, DLC, but they were released on demo discs. I will try and see if I can do those again. Uh, no promises, because I've got to hunt down the, the demo discs. And that's... I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that but we'll see um yeah i guess we'll have to see i'm trying to think of another way yeah yeah it's just gonna have to download some demo discs i suppose um but we're not quite done with this game yet there was actually a, a pc port of this game in development as well but the company went under sadly before uh that saw the light uh the the um light which would have been a shame. It would have been nice to see this on PC. And who knows, maybe it would have had a bit of a cult classic kind of uh, aura around it. And maybe, just maybe, there might have been fan patches to keep it going. But it is relegated to the Dreamcast. It is an absolute hidden gem on the Dreamcast. And does it hold up, though? Yeah, yep, uh, I yeah, I really do think this game holds up very, very well. It's janky, but it was back then as well. The music still uh, really hits me hard in the nostalgia bone. So did the graphics. The graphics are actually really nice in this game. I mean, it looks pretty good on the Dreamcast in, you know, 480p. Uh, but on this emulator, blown up, you know, it looks very very nice and it still plays pretty damn well as well and i will say it actually plays better on the emulator than it does on the actual dreamcast because obviously you can use a better controller uh it's just yeah i would have liked to have seen more from these guys but there we go anyway before we close out we've still got to do the hidden area Welcome to the real world. Let's see what. Let's see you make that S car go. So yeah, uh, <laughs> this is weird. Typical French memes incoming. Cross the garden as quickly as possible. If you finish amongst them at first three, an interesting prize will be waiting for you. Good luck. So now we're in the back garden. Yep, and we're racing snails. This is really fucking weird. 
and we're powered by lettuce and we have armor and armor bar so we have to finish in the top three which it can be difficult as you can probably see this game sputters along at an absolute abysmal frame rate uh, and if we get hit by anything we spin out now I'm not convinced that the reward is actually that cool for doing this. I mean, it's cool, but I don't think it's as cool as it should have been. And I'll explain that when we actually unlock the award and we've just been hit again. God damn it, come on. There we go, let's grab these boosts. Now, you don't have to win and there's no, there's no time to beat. You just can't come last, which actually, isn't that difficult because the AI fucks this race up quite a lot which is nice the AI also get hit by the enemies a lot which is also quite nice okay but we do want to try and avoid getting hit where we can for obvious reasons now I don't know what the hell's going on with these sound effects I literally have no clue and we're almost out of lettuce power, which is really bad. Come on. Come on. We need some lettuce leaves. We really need some lettuce leaves here. And we're not going to get any for ages now. I can't believe we ran out of lettuce leaves. Seriously? Oh, god damn it. There's some. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we really, like, burn through our leaves pretty quick. Now, uh, we don't actually get anything extra for coming first. You basically get your one reward and that's it. But that's okay, yeah. It's just a little bit of that weird early millennium weirdness, I guess. Would have been nice to maybe get um, a whole extra area, maybe. You know, instead of just like one race, maybe some actual outdoor stuff against bugs. That could have been fun. Luckily, we managed to get some more lettuce there. It's probably not lettuce. I don't know what the French have instead of lettuce. Probably French lettuce. Because we know that, you know, French people don't eat normal toast. They eat French toast. Oh shit. And they don't have normal dressing on their salads. They have French dressing. So I'm guessing they have French lettuce too. Right, so there we go. I think we came first. I'm not 100%. We might not have done. Anyway, congratulations. You're now better equipped to handle the toy commander. What? What the hell are you talking about? So what that basically we can go back in and we can fight the toy commander again but if you look at our weapon we now fire double a batteries and these we this weapon also does crazy amounts of more damage but what's interesting is you can literally only use it uh, against the toy commander it would have been nice if we could go back through the game with see how quickly we're just destroying him and we have unlimited of them as well it would have been really cool if we could have gone back through the game uh, with this weapon as an unlockable but unfortunately not it's literally just for use against Mr. Huggy Bear but you know I guess uh, it is what it is now you can easily kill him with just one toy, but I guess the recording gods aren't going to smile on me today. But yeah, he's he is beyond trivial with these weapons, as you can see. But yeah, it's it's a uh, oh we blew ourselves up as well. <laughs> oh well, yeah, it's really cool. It is. Uh, I just wish, as I said, that we could, you know, get a bit more use out of it, but never mind. Oh, God. 
they put the emulator on maximum speed but there's no point finishing that again because it's exactly the same so anyway guys that is toy commander uh again <laughs> in 2021 oh we're almost at the end of 21 as well uh i really enjoyed that i hope you guys enjoyed that thank you very much for watching and as always till next time